Anyway, ito open. Guns in effect. Ay, open the gate. Go, Oscar. Fire mission! Fire mission! I think it's important that we train our, with our partners and our allies to send a message to the world that not only do we call the exercise shoulder to shoulder and balakatan, but we're actually poised and ready to stand in the Indo-PACOM theater in the event that something were to arise. The division's role during Balakatan was to serve as a joint task force, the headquarters. The training that we helped facilitate with the subordinate units this was a lot of command and control efforts. And then uh, constructive kill, trying to validate the systems that we put in place. So we can be able to talk from sensor to shooter, the lowest level up to the highest to be able to report, locate, and then target acquisition. We put the people in place to make sure that the Filipino entities could align their efforts with the U.S. entities. The division tied into the Joint Force by being, bringing together those key players, so the pilots from the Air Force, the Navy side on the Philippines, and with our SOP operators being able to tie their sensors and shooters back. And then, ultimately, we synchronize those effects against common adversary. We are out here to form relationships and strong bonds, and that is exactly what this exercise is about. Balakatan specifically gives Marines the opportunity to operate in a live fire scenario that tests their independent capabilities, but it also gives them an opportunity to test their fire teams, squad, platoon, and even company level capabilities. We are unified and we represent a lethal combined front. Everything that we are doing out here, integration wise, Training-wise, we are joint, we are partnered, and any adversary force needs to understand that this is a combined fight. This year's Balikatan is the biggest Balikatan so far. It is an important training with us so that we can test our SOPs and then apply improvement and integrate. The greatest success of this Balikatan is working alongside with the U.S. Armed Forces. It sends a message that we are committed to defending these regions to be more stable and secure. It really gives us great privilege sharing the knowledge and the skills that they have.